Welcome back, comrades. This is Calls. As promised, we're going to do a very brief briefing, no pun intended, on fatality. This is Mother Russia from Last War, and we put up some good numbers against them. They just had superior firepower, but I think with the nukes and the changes in the dynamics of the game and offensive strategies, we might have the upper hand on this one. So don't quote me on it, but we got a legit shot. They're good. And so uh, I'm not going to talk about every base, but this is one of them. This is Dunk's Mirror, and it looks really difficult. You're, lo you're talking about max level walls, three ions, but I, I do think that this base is doable. Now, I published a video called JH Spider Strat, and we're going to do that on this guy, but not immediately. This will be one of those bases that I want to save a little bit more towards the end, and we'll talk about that why a little later. Now, we got Lucky. Monuments are offensive. I don't see anything defensive. Maybe he just got lazy. Maybe he's overly confident. I don't know, but... It, irrespective, that's what we're dealing with. And if we're going to employ the spider strat, we'd do it against this guy. As usual, we will incorporate the bunker strat of Jenning Aggro by dropping bombs. As you can see, 3 for 3 and 4 for 4. They're too close to the edge. So you drop a bomb, drop a nuke, and then collateral damage on the death ray and the watchtower. So there should be a little bit of a hole here. Then your west offensive is going to be going towards this spider gun, which is conveniently close to the edge. And the line's pretty easy to trace. You're, you're talking Cannon Jericho spider. So bring some bombs with you to facilitate and assist. And then after that, with no spiders left, it, it's really just a matter of a DPS race to get to these ion stations. So now, this is where it gets a little quirky. He's got a third one over here. I would not be intimidated by this. And the reason why is I feel like this is a red herring. I feel like this is a trap. If you put an ion next to a clan HQ, a lot of these other clans are going to go after clan HQ ion to kill two birds with one stone. But I feel like that that's a mistake. Take a look at this Jericho. Its border only goes to the edge of this gold mine, and then this Jericho only goes to the edge of this cannon. So you, you really have an aerial blind spot. And then take a look at what's inside this clan HQ. It's a vortex. So hypothetically, and I don't know this because I haven't tested it actively, but if you were to drop a predator right here, I don't know what the vortex will spawn. And even more so, even if it did, it can't do anything against the Predator. The Predator is going to do incidental AoE. It's going to take out the Flame Tower and then start going to town on the Clan HQ and Ion Station. So you might be able to kill five birds with one stone with a single Predator. Um, I would highly advise bringing at least one Colossus, possibly two, because we're working with three Ions. So definitely your Clan troops ought to be... A Colossus and you might want to bring one just for fun and sacrifice a little bit of the DPS for additional survivability because in the spider strat video the ions were going after my Colossus and I think that that's going to be extremely important to soak damage if in fact it is a case that ions are going to prefer Colossus over Vortex. The Vortex in the video that I did with the spider strat it was complete overkill. I'm not even sure any of them died. I mean maybe one possibly two but I had at least six good Vortexes at the end of that video against Raul from Reva Warriors. So uh, more to follow on this guy. Let's hold off on him. He's going to be one of our last bases that we attack. Uh, we're, we have plenty of other options that we can go towards, and that's what we're going to talk about. Not going to spend a lot of time on this guy. All I'm going to tell you is we're going to go after airstrikes right here. You're going to kill Spider, Ion, and Clan HQ, of course. Do the bunker strat. Uh, drop a nuke. Uh, try to avoid sappers. You don't want a gen aggro or whatever is going to be sitting inside here. It's a vortex, and they're probably going to be doing vortexes all around. I don't know. But then after that, you're going to want to try and take down uh, this, this spider and ion. So, we'll go to the next base. Uh, Gromer. So, he is got the same base setup as Spider Strap. Just uh, inverse east-west with north-south, because the spiders were north-south and the ions were east-west. So, you can review the video on that one. But it would we would be going after this spider and this clan HQ on airstrikes, and then we would try and trace the line to be able to get to this spider. So I don't think it's overly difficult, it's just a matter of what kind of defensive monuments, if any, he has. It doesn't appear as though he does, so 10% of 900 is only going to get you to 990, so not even his watchtowers will survive a nuke. So it would probably be cannon, gold storage. I would probably take out this rally point with heroes, then deploy troops and go Jericho, cannon, gold storage, oil storage, spider. Bring some bombs, obviously, to breach, bang, and clear. And once you get into the middle, the juicy caramel center, you should be good to go. Wind. Mm, okay, airstrikes right here. Same thing. Gen aggro and bunkers. Drop nuke. Airstrikes here. And then try to get to this spider ASAFP. 
So that would be Flame Tower, Jericho, Oil Storage, Spider. And then after you drop that spider, you should be okay. Next base, Demon, same thing, Spider Strat, East, West, North, South. Now he changed it up where he's got his Clan HQ nearest to the Ion. That's actually better than putting it next to your spider. So that doesn't change how I would go about attacking this base. Bunker's too close to the side. So Gen Aggro, drop Nuke, and then Airstrikes. Uh, you could probably pick and choose. I'd probably go after this side so that you can wax these watchtowers and cannons for sure. Get collateral damage on these other cannons. Uh, but then again, I can make a compelling argument on the other side because you're actually going to get three cannons instead of two. So you know what? I'm going to call an audible. I would recommend you drop airstrikes on this one. Just be weary that he's got the shield module on the module gun. So it's going to be increased HP. So it's probably 3920. 10% increased HP. So you're locking probably like 4500 after that so just to be conservative next base uh, this is easy because I'm only seeing one ion so I'm not even going to spend time on this next base uh, two ions way too close drop your strikes right here GG good game three star next base Okay, Spider Strat, same thing. Spiders right next to this clan HQ, so drop air strikes here. Go after this one. Uh, bunkers are a little bit more inward, so I probably mm, I don't know. If you you might take more than one bomb to get this guy, it will likely take. You probably aren't going to get this bunker. You should be able to get this bunker, and you can definitely get this bunker. But this is the one that will be the most difficult because you're contending with cannons and flame towers and stuff so don't waste too many bombs still has pretty formidable walls next base uh spider strat uh clan hq where is it it's way over here mm, okay so yeah go after this spider because you can still reach it his bunkers are close enough that you can gen aggro drop nuke so airstrike on here and then this base a little bit of a challenge because I'm not really sure how best to trace the line. I did take this guy out in round one, so he can be done, but he has two ions instead of one, obviously. But of course, we didn't have nukes back then, so I don't know. I might pay him a visit again. Not gonna pay too much attention to this base, it only has one ion, so get creative. Bob Ross it, you should be okay. I, I love the creativity. This is almost like a Bob Ross painting in of, a, of itself. Uh, Starry Night comes to mind. But uh, have fun with this one. Next base. Yeah, see, so I'm not really going to pay any attention to these ones. They're getting easier. Uh, but for the for brevity, I will go through this. Um, just drop airstrikes right on the command center. Take out both ions and the clan HQ. Way to just ensure that you got the golden, uh, or I'm sorry, not the golden, the bronze airstrike. The one that's max range, that's non-bugged, that, is that still is not fixed. Jungle heat. Looking at you, glaring at you. Sorry, I'm getting mildly aggressive. Spider Strat, this one. Um, where's this clean HQ? I don't even see it. Oh, way out here in left field. Um, okay. I don't think that changes anything, but this is actually a little bit more of a difficult base than meets the eye. Just because I think they're smart enough to put their clean HQ, even though it's towards the edge, it's probably sitting with a vortex. Not yet, but it likely will be. But uh, let's let's come back to this base. I, I might I might circle back to this one. It's much more difficult than the previous couple ones. Uh, this one just drop air strikes right on this lightning gun. Take out these three the triangle, the Bermuda triangle. Uh, you doesn't even have max spiders, so I don't see this one being very difficult. Next one, lol, lol. Mm, yeah. Okay, so now now their CC tens and CC nines are pretty good. Uh, this is probably a max CC ten, honestly. So I think we discussed trading some of these targets. So if you are a strong CC eleven but you do not have a nuke, be prepared because this is going to be one of your target assignments that will need you to take it down. It shouldn't be much of a challenge for you because you have superior troops and all that jazz. But just please pay attention if you're called upon to take out these targets. Same thing with this guy. It's a pretty legit CC-10. Uh, looks reasonably max in every effort. I just don't know what is the max. I can tell it's not entirely on the walls because you got some level 11 walls and then some level 10 walls. So uh, please pay attention in line chat or in clan chat. Uh, same on this guy. 
So they have some really formidable uh, nines and tens. This one, not so much. It still has you know level nine walls, which granted is the best I have because my base is garbage. But in all fairness, uh, that kind of summarizes our brief on fatality. More to follow. We're back to our number one. Uh, so please review the video on spider strat. If it's too complicated and you feel comfortable with what you're doing, if you if you have this this rhythm and you know what to look out for, I trust you. Okay, uh, we got some really talented players on our roster, so I don't want you to feel like this is obligatory. So I trust you. Do what you can, but this is just another idea to enhance your your tool bag. So with that, this is Cole signing off. Good luck. We'll see you soon.